In this video, I'm going to give you three strategies to get over the fear of failure. As a mental toughness trainer has worked with thousands of athletes from youth to adults, by far the biggest problem is fear of failure. Now I've looked at, examined and dissected this concept and the word failure and I've determined it to be non-useful for sports and performing. And therefore, my definition now is a destructive word that others use to describe events when they don't achieve their goal or outcome. So strategy number one, in other words, I teach that there is no such thing as failure. It doesn't exist except as a useless story somewhere in your mind. Get rid of the idea of failure and you get rid of the fear of it. Because it's destructive to all athletes' confidence, young, old, pro, amateur, and it's completely unnecessary to use the word for any situation or circumstance except when you're talking about others. I teach my young athletes to instead use what I call deadly accurate descriptions of events that allow for growth and improvement and not destruction. For example, here's an event. A batter strikes out in the last inning with two runners on base, two outs, and the team is down by one. That's the event, right? A, destru a destructive description of that event using failed might sound like this. I failed myself, my coach and my team, by striking out in the last inning with two runners on base and down by one in one of the most important games of the year, and I cost us the game. Now here's a more useful description of the same event. At the end of the game, I struck out and was proud of myself for standing in there and taking good cuts. Now, notice there's no need for the word failure in any of that useful description. Strategy number two, a decision to be resilient no matter what happens. It's a decision. When an outcome is not achieved and disappointment and other emotions follow, there's two basic ways kids and all humans respond. One, they wallow in victimhood. Or two, they learn from the event and they come back stronger and smarter. Resilience, or the ability to come back from adversity, or Get back on the horse after you fall off is paramount to building confidence. Confidence cannot be built in the presence of fear. When you come back or conquer anything difficult, what you call failures, you end up not fearing it anymore. And this applies to all of us. Each of us has to make this decision in advance that we will always choose option two to come back. And this is what destroys fear of failure. Strategy three. Create a mantra or a label about yourself that you can believe and with lots of repetitions, you sink it into your body over time. Mine has always been, I'll figure it out. Yeah. Examples of some labels you can call yourself or someone you care about. Comeback specialist. You never give up. I'm lightning. I'm a baseball machine. Remember Muhammad Ali, one of the greatest boxers of all time? He kept saying, I am the greatest. What most people don't know is the rest of the story because he also said, I am the greatest. And I said that before I knew I was. Let's do this. I'm Craig Sigal, your mental toughness trainer.